run pretty good time in winning over 22.30 here last time. So we'll see what develops early. Culture King won a trial here last Sunday at Globe. He ran his last mile in 57.7. He beat Better Have Time by 8 metres, so he'll be better for that. He didn't fire at his return back to uh, South Australia, I think it's fair to say, and Paul Cavallaro tipped him out. But he was flat on the line in the trial, so he'll progress. Set to go. Here's race two, Globe Derby. Set. Away, Van Mara right up on the mobile, showing more speed than Sparrow Hawk, who's trying to go with it. They're driving hard, and Jake Sport Rider's still on the inside, keeping them all out. So, action to the first turn. Van Mara's working hard. Jake Sport Rider's still got the inside. Got more speed than the Sparrow Hawk, who's still got the legs there, but gee, they're cooking each other, these three up front. So, Highly unlikely the winner would come out of one of these three, I'd say, as Van Maar is still persisting and trying to get across Jake Sport Rider, but Jake Sport Rider's got the speed to lead. Van Maar grabs hold now, and now the Sparrow Hawk pulls around the outside to go forward. Culture King behind those. Oh, the Sparrow Hawk, he tried to chase him to go forward, and he put him out of his gear. He's galloped there. Now, back on the inside of those was Canada Bay. Following those through was Jack William. The Sparrow Hawk now gets pacing again. He's on the outside of E Main Macker. In the meantime, Jake's Sport Rider fired up in front. Lead time 44 2. That's a hard lead time. In second placing, Van Mara, who worked the hardest for that lead time, sits behind the leader now. And now Culture King's left facing the breeze. Canada Bay had time to come off and grab the 1 1. E May Macker was looking to press forward. Dropping down to the inside was Jack William. And the Sparrow Hawk now goes down to the inside to be four back in last placing. Jake Sport Rider in front, 44-2, confirmed as that lead time. First quarter, 30.3, leads by a full sulky's length. Second quarter is going to be slightly slower. On the inside, Van Mara follows the leader. Culture King facing the breeze. Billinger didn't really want to be there, but he's gradually creeping forward now. Canada Bay's got the one out, one back. On the inside of those was Jack William. E Main Macker, he hasn't spent a penny. He's back in second last placing. He's about 15 metres from the leader. And on the inside was the Sparrow Hawk. Out in front is Jake Sport Rider, still on a rain, a tight rain, leads by three metres. Culture King travels okay outside the leader. On the inside, Van Mara, Canada Bay tickled up in the 1-1. One, one. Jack William, he main macker. Here comes Darren Billinger, using his speed now. Sets him alight at the 6.50, and he's charging forward and coming forward quickly. 31-2 after a 30.3, 61-5 for the half. Dropping out behind those, the Sparrow Hawk is not performing. In the meantime, three across the track. Jake Sport Rider's been tested. On the outside, Culture King. Three wide, he made Macca. Van Maar is still there on the inside and going okay for a sprint lane run. So he's still a chance by the looks. Behind those under pressure, Canada Bay. All those up front are flat out. Jake Sport Rider, Culture King and he made Macca. And now Van Maar is about to steer into the sprint lane. Van Maar going to the inside, starting to make ground, coming at Culture King. Van Maar is going to win it. Van Maar goes through, does it. The Southeast have dominated early and Van Maar will win. Second, Jake Sport Rider in front of Culture King. He made Macro, I think, fourth in front of Canada Bay. Behind those, Jack William. Then we had the Sparrow Hawk, who was about 15 metres away at the tail end of the field.